I guess at the moment, with person level data coming out nationally, uh, there's an NHS number on there, which is really helpful. Um, you might need to move your microphone down. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, what am I saying? So the two national data sets that we're getting in Leeds are person level stuff. So we're getting this shielded list and this um, self-reported, what I'm calling uh, clinically extremely vulnerable list. So those, the, the, the CEVP list has gone bananas over the last couple of weeks. It was at 2,000 and now it's uh, over 10,000. Um, but on there, really helpfully, is an NHS number. So there must be some process um, in the background somewhere where government can basically, uh, connect, I guess, connect to the spine and, and, and pull down NHS numbers. Because if you look on the website, um, you can either type it in or say, no, I don't know it. So somewhere there's a process for, for pulling NHS numbers down. Um, and we, we're using that. We're also using the address um, with another process uh, within the council to pop a unique property reference number on. So, so I think my life's work will be if the UPRN number which is now being made available open data-ish from the Ordnance Survey, um, if that could be popped onto every health record, um, that would be an, an additional linkage device. I mean, I guess Big Brother and all that sort of stuff, but it would just be really helpful because obviously council records don't have an NHS number, but they do have a UPRN number. And just that that matching across would be superb. 